G'day everyone, this is Lachlan Black from AutoCADTrainingBlog.com and what I've got for you today is I've got a tutorial straight from the guys at DailyAutoCAD.com and what we're going to do is we're going to run you through how to create the primitive solids that you can see on the screen now and just how to create them basically in AutoCAD. Okay, we'll get started. To get started, what we do is we just put this into plan view, which means we're looking down at the XY plane. So we'll put it in plan view now. And of the current UCS, yes. And there we go, we're now in plan view and we can start drawing. What we'll do is we'll just zoom out a little bit and get a better view and we'll start going. The first shape we're going to use is the box or it's basically a cube. So what we do is we type box or we can also use the uh, create toolbar and what we'll do is we'll go box and then we just choose two corners just like doing a rectangle in 2D we choose the first corner and the second corner and then because it's 3D we obviously have to specify a height or a Z coordinate and this one is going to be 250 and what we'll do is we will orbit around that just to show and there we go there is our first cube okay now what we do is we're going to do a wedge which for wedge we just type wedge again and then we specify the two corners just like our cube and then we specify a height and what we can do with this is it's facing that way but if we wanted it to face us we can use the rotate command but we won't get into that now we'll get into that in a later lesson okay also what we, the next one is the cylinder so uh, sorry cone so we'll just type cone like so and with this one we'll start in, in about the middle of the square because it's a we specify the center point and then we do a radius and then we do a height so we'll click there and we do a radius of probably 125 and then a height of 250 just like the other ones and that has given us a cone as you'll see there okay and with the next one what we're going to do is it's a sphere now with the sphere is when we choose our center point it's actually that's where the center of the sphere is so half of the sphere is below that center point and half of it is above it so what we want to do is we want to lift our sphere up by an amount the same as the radius so that it's like it's sitting up on our ground so what we'll do to do that we just type in the coordinates that are that our cursor is already on so 3130 then we hit comma and then we go oh, comma and then 610 and then comma and then the Z coordinate we're going to make our radius 125 so we have to lift it 125 in the Z direction for our center point like so and then we specify a radius like so 125 and when we orbit that it should be like it's sitting on top of the ground as you can see there otherwise that would be lower and half half above and half below. Okay, the next one is the cylinder, which we also do. We just pick the center point and then specify a radius and then we specify a height of 250. That's a pretty simple one, probably about as simple as they get. And the next one is the pyramid command. Now with this one, we've actually got it to scribe uh, a circle, which each edge touches an edge of that circle. But what you can do is you can um, specify it by edge or sides as well. Um, this scribe circle is probably the easiest way, so I'll show you that. What we do is we just choose the center point and we extend out. And as you can see, it's made, it's it's inscribed in a circle so we'll just make that 125 and a height of 250 like the other ones and the last one is the torus 
like so. And it's basically a donut. We'll just go over here and click it. That's why. It's T-O-R-U-S. I should learn how to spell that properly. Okay. So with this one, what we do is, again, we choose a center point. We choose a radius that we want our torus to be, which I'll choose 125. And then we choose um, the diameter, uh, radius, of the tube, the of the donut, of the torus. Or we can also use a diameter or anything like that. But what we'll do is we'll just choose a radius of 50. And now this one's the same deal as the sphere. It'll actually be half under the surface, as I'll show you. Like so. Now what we'll do with this is we'll just use the 3D move command by typing 3D move and select the object and then choose a point that we move it by and we want to go 0 in the X direction 0 in the Y direction and then comma and now we want to move up one radius and our radius was 50 so we want to move up 50 and that brings it up so that it's sitting on top. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials like this, you can either visit uh, dailyautocad.com or the AutoCAD training blog, which is at autocadtrainingblog.com. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.